Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Dacia Joker, the comfort version that comes with manual transmission and it comes with 110 horsepower. It adds a seven seat and in this video we will make the test drive. I will drive the car and I will give you all the feedbacks about the driving feeling. So stay with me until the end of the video if you want to find out how is to drive this new Dacia Joker. Before we go forward, I want to tell you that I'm in Switzerland at Galliker Garage. I will leave the link in the description if you want to check out the car. If you are around here, check them out guys. Link will be in the description. Now let's go forward. I want to give you some technical data before we start driving. As I said before, I have with me Dacia Joker that comes with one liter petrol engine. It's the comfort version. That means it's the middle range version. The starting price, the basis price here in Switzerland, it's 80,390 francs with all these options, but it doesn't come with all the options. If you want to have some extra optionals, for example, navigation system, you have to pay 350 francs, a safety pack, for 400 francs comfort pack 500 uh, the color the metallic color you have to pay 550 francs 16 inch rims 400 francs 250 francs for the heating seats in the front and 300 francs for climatic system the last two i really recommend you to get it then the final price will be 21,130 francs here in switzerland i will write price in dollars so you can make an idea but keep in mind that this price might be different in your country most of the country have a better price for this dacia joker in switzerland the price are a little bit higher that's something to keep in mind now very important the car weight 1339 kilograms the consumption 5.9 liters but we will find out in this video what will be the real consumption so uh, we will see a little bit later i'm really curious about that the co2 emission 134 grams and it's in a b class efficient class so that's also very good now going forward i want to give you some technical data deeper technical data as i said it comes with a one liter petrol engine three cylinders in line 110 horsepower 200 newton meters it's a front wheel drive system and it comes with a six speed manual transmission a very good transmission i drive the car a little bit before but we will talk in this video anyway about it the fuel tank capacity 50 liters top speed of the car 180 km per hour 0 to 100 in 11.2 seconds the car have ground clearance 20 centimeters it comes with ventilated brake discs on the front, 280 millimeters, and drum brakes on the rear. Also, it comes with 16 inch rims and the turning radius of the car, 11.7 meters. The car comes also with independent McPherson suspension coil spring with anti roll bar on the front. On the rear, it comes with semi independent coil spring. If you want to find out more information about the car, trunk space, and material quality, and all kind of stuff about the car, I have a full review video a separate video where you can find out more about car in this video it's all about driving so let's drive the car and in the end we will make the conclusion guys all right guys here is the key this is the keyless entrance also the joker come with a normal key with a classic key where you don't have keyless entrance and all that stuff all that cool stuff but this is the comfort version and the comfort version with this keyless entrance and it's a really cool key and if i'm not wrong this is optional on the car i will have to check that anyway i will tell you all those information in a full review video i will have a full review video with the same car interior exterior technical data space and everything about the car this car come with a keyless entry that means what you can do with the key you can lock and unlock the car also you can turn on the lights uh, all you have to do is just press this button and also the great part is that when you approach the car when you are close to the car you can see that the car will unlock the doors for you and when you go farther away look at this and you already hear this sound so it's it's really fast and i i noticed that it works really good also it's the same key as dacia I use it also on the other models like dacia duster and also dacia uh, sandero the same key use also Renault on their car, so that's cool. So look at this, you approach the car and the door is already unlocked. How cool is that? Now, by the way, guys, the car come with 16 inch rims. Uh, we have right here a lot of gummy. That mean you will have great comfort over the bumps. On the rear, we have a uh, drum brakes. 
and in the front we have ventilated brake discs so you can see right here yeah but more about that as i said before i will show you in the full review video there you find more information about the car the car come with blind spot technology here at the entrance normal pedals we have the manual transmission as i said before manual adjustable seats also they are kind of the same seats as dacia I use it also on sandero uh, version but yeah more about that in the full review video now guys let me leave the key here it comes also with a start stop engine button that it's here behind the steering wheel also i will explain you more in the review video you have an armrest here that you can open it up also two cup holders electronic handbrake i like that very very much then this is the stock to change the gear six speed reverse we have climatic system the same climatic system that dacia use it also on duster for example other than that the dash is very similar with sandero it's actually the same as Sandero. You have USB ports here, USB down here, 12 volt port. Also this new multimedia system from Dacia. I have a full review with it. If you wanna check it out, check out on my channel. Also, I, I explain you and I show you there how can you connect Android Auto. In this moment, I already have the Android Auto connected. So if you go here to the smartphone integration, I connect it for you because I wanna show you how it works yes device is connected go to android wait a second a bit earlier you can see android auto and now you have also android auto the map all over the screen everything it's all over the screen so that's something to keep in mind now let me put the seat belt the seats you can adjust it very easy in every position you want also the steering wheel you can adjust it down up forward backward super simple just like that behind the steering wheel you have the controls for the multimedia the same classic cockpit there i also reset the consumption so we will see what consumption we will have in the end of the trip other than that everything is simple there visibility i notice it's very good around the windows very big windows also in the back there let's start the engine if you want to go in reverse all you have to do is just go down here push it up going in reverse and then you will have also a reverse camera the reverse camera quality is not the best one but to be honest you have those active lines it's relatively easy easy to park the car i will show you also later now another thing that i notice on the car is the fact that it goes very easy into the gears and that's something that i like look and see it's very easy i like that it's very easy to drive it this this is this is one of my favorite thing i noticed also on the other uh, dacia cars before another cool thing that i like is this mirror with white edges uh, i like very much these white edges it make it look much more brighter also incredible visibility on the rear there it's a huge huge windows in the back and you have a very good visibility also sun protection some mirrors here sos button but more about that uh, let's talk in the other video let me put it in first speed uh, climatic system work really really well really simple and also look quite fancy also we have an echo button here that means the car will drive in echo then let's start first time in echo i'm really curious to see what consumption i will uh, get out of the car so let's drive it i have a quite quite big space here in the front i feel that the car is quite spacious so i nothing to say about that also this model that i have right here it comes with this latest technology um, in terms of safety feature from dacia it's not something extraordinary but it's it's relatively good so it has like blind spot technology emergency brake um, and also it has a radar in the front there for the cruise control anyway you can see here if you want to park the car you can see in reverse it's not so good light today because of the sun but yeah, I hope you can understand it a little bit I hope you can uh, get some good images now this is the Android uh, on the screen right now and also you have a lot of apps here but I have a separate video about that guys check out on my channel I explain it already I will leave it on like that so you can make an idea you have also parking sensors six sensors in the front six on the rear so that's incredible for a Dacia in this price range to be honest I like the 
pedals are quite smooth they feel quite good quality Also the sound insulation didn't seem to be very bad at least at low speed here I can see a lot of cars around and the sound inside the cabin it's relatively good we will test it also on the highway a little bit and we will see what is the sound on the highway but here in the city I noticed that it's not bad it's quite good the steering wheel the same steering wheel as they use it on Sandero to be honest you you have that kind of the same feeling when you drive this car like you're driving a Sandero stepway I think the the height is the same height I'm um, in the front here the steering wheel it's not very very assisted but it's quite light so it's easy to drive this is also good it's very important it's a super practical car and probably this car will be used for the companies and the fact that the steering wheel it's it's quite light it help um, a lot make the life easier uh, when you drive a lot with this car and you have to carry a lot of things practicality it's it's one of the strong point on this uh, Joker yes I noticed that also over the bumps is doing great uh, with those 16 inch tires McPherson independent suspension on the front semi independent on the rear stay also good on the on the curves it's not bad it's quite good it's it's perfect for what what it's it's the purpose of the car it's a practical car should be easy to drive uh, you should have a good visibility it has it's easy to drive good comfort I like the comfort I think I can drive without any problem also many kilometers with the car so this test it passed here you can see over the bumps wow it's doing relatively good i think those 16 inch tires also help a lot but it's surprisingly good over the bumps i can't believe to be honest also the brakes and the pedal are nice and also i like how easy it is to change the gear in a manual transmission very important is that you can change the gears easily 11.4 meters is the turning radius of the car and as long as it is you can turn it very easy the engine is not it's not that loud it's relatively silent you can see one more time smooth and nice yes the suspension are good comfort it's it's relatively good also the side support it's very good here it holds you between the the seats very easy very good not bad the seats are not bad really really not bad i don't know if i have something to complain about the car until now maybe a little bit of noise now I notice when I go a little bit faster and you can see here in those curves not bad not bad not bad I stay really really well um, the side support are really good anyway bumps super super nice for this for this price the price of the car for the price of the car i think is doing a great job 
great over the bumps. We have 10.5 liter consumption until no. Wait a second. Let's change. It. Where is the cons average? 14.1 liter consumption until now. It's a brand new car. I didn't drive super economical, but we are in eco mode, and in eco mode, it's a little bit smoother the car. Let's change. Let's go in normal mode. I turn off the eco mode. It's nice. We have electronic handbrake. Also, I noticed that the car come with start-stop engine system. You have here the button, heated seats in the front, two position. It's nice. It's not bad, guys. Also, very good visibility here in the multimedia. Also, it's very, very responsive. I noticed even with Android Auto, you have USB, good visibility. I think the only downside that I find until now is the sound insulation. It's not that good at high speed. Um, also, those seats are super nice. You have side support. You stay really good here. Also, the armrest is relatively good. Uh, two cup holders there. Of course, a lot of plastic around here and there. But other than that, it's, it's a good car with a great price. 21,000 francs. And in some country, even, even cheaper. For what this car offer in 21,000 francs, you don't find anything in Switzerland with Android Auto Wireless, with USB ports, with, I don't know, with so much practicality, seven seat. I think this car can beat a lot of cars. Wow. In, in normal mode, I deactivate the echo mode. In normal mode, I can see the car. It's much more, wow, responsive. You really feel that. Oh boy. And as I said, it stays good on the curves. Maybe, maybe what I notice now is the side support down here. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Side support down there, but it's not that good down here. But here on the back, it's perfect. You have also this cruise control here, speed limiter and cruise control. I turn on cruise control and then you can set it from here and the car will hold the speed for you. So you choose, for example, 80. I choose from here from the steering wheel. You can you can choose everything, but you have to pay attention because it doesn't come with uh, adaptive cruise control. So the car can not keep the, the speed between you and the car in front can stop the car automatically it's just a normal standard cruise control so you just set it like that and then the car will will hold the speed uh, for you so that's all he's doing so that's something to keep in mind guys so for example you set it here and the car will just hold the 100 speed for example and you have to pay attention because it doesn't have lane assist, doesn't have adaptive cruise control to accelerate and brake and stuff like that. But it's very useful. 12.5 liter consumption until now. We go uphill. Let me deactivate this. Let, let me take the control. I want to go in sixth gear. I want to see how is the noise here. Yes, with three cylinders. 110 horsepower that I have on this car right now uh, when you go uphill it feels like it's struggling but a little bit and I feel and I know that when you have a full car loaded with people if you have here five people in the car some luggages in the back there there might be some uh, some some acceleration problem when you go uphill so for for example here is mountain and that why but it's not that bad it's not that bad also you have electric adjustable mirrors this is awesome I like that and I can see now they are also very easy to adjust going up here well it's not that bad that I expected on the highway at high speed the, the noise from outside it's not that bad it's not perfect but it's also not very bad the brakes and the pedals feel smooth this is nice this is a characteristic that a uh, cheap car doesn't have but I see that they, they quite improve the pedals and this is a good thing I feel a little bit of vibration in the clutch pedal but it's not that bad acceleration Wow, 
quite fine. The engine is smooth, it's nice. You can hear, now we have 100. And the sound is not that bad on the good road. Right now the road is bad and you hear a little bit of noise from down from the ground, from the wheels. So the sound insulation in the down part probably is not that good but on the back on the upper side it's better uh, this is this is what I noticed until now engine running smooth very smooth the engine is good the transmission is good Very easy you go through the speeds very very easy and this is another good good thing now exactly what I'm told you when the road down it's, it's not good you can hear a little bit of noise nah not bad if you hear music I don't think you will notice the steering wheel it's nice it's easy it's actually light um, quite easy to drive nothing to complain about the car to be honest you have the climatic system you have physical button to reach out very easy we have to think about at, at this car as a practical car you can carry seven people, you can carry mobile part, big items in the car, you can use it for your company, but in the same time you can use it for holidays. It's incredible. You can get it with GPL, with gas, so you can get even better consumption. We have 8.5 liter consumption until now. It's not bad. It's not bad, guys. Good brakes. I like the, the suspensions. I really like them. I think it's a good car with this price. The only thing that's missing is auto hold. It has electronic handbrake, but it doesn't have auto hold. Normally for manual transmission, it shouldn't have auto hold, but I see some cars with auto hold as well. So for example, here you have to hold the foot on the brake, otherwise it goes backwards. But yeah, this is normal for a manual. It should be like that very easy I like how easy you change the gears this is very important for me uh, in a manual car very important it's also the visibility and I have incredible visibility in the mirrors perfect also I have blind spot technology that's also very useful very very useful surprisingly Dacia did again a great job it's doing great in curves Comfort is good. I feel really, really good here uh, on the driver side. Six, eight point six liter consumption. Let's go back in echo. I want to. I want to see how how much better I can get the consumption. Super, super nice. Also the climatic system. I like those wheels. They are good quality. AC, you have it there. It feels quite agile, to be honest, with, with this engine. And the car feels light, I think. It has around 1,300 kilograms, something like that, um, if I remember well. And it feels light. Also on the on those big curves, it feels relatively light. I'm curious to test this car with with five people inside. I'm really curious to test it with with a little bit of weight. Um, let me turn on the cruise control again. Set it to. 80 and the car right now will hold the speed for me it's just holding the speed the lane uh, doesn't hold it 
and it uses only emergency brake, doesn't have that ACC adaptive cruise control. I should say it's a lovely combination between practicality and comfort. Um, they didn't use fancy materials, for example, on the doors here or on the uh, cockpit, but they reduced the price enormous. So if you want to buy a seven-seater car, I don't think you will find a better price on the market today. I don't think so, guys. We go uphill again. It doesn't, it doesn't struggle at all. It doesn't struggle at all. It feels like you have enough power. If you go down and then accelerate, nah, no problem. It's doing just fine. But with with a lot of weight inside, probably will be different. And this is something that I really want to find out. I really want to test that out. Lovely the way you can see the window in the back there on this wind or on this mirror. It's just perfect. Let's go in sixth. Let's drive a little bit more economical right now. I have 8.2 liter consumption until now. So I can hear a little bit of noise from outside, but it's, it's relatively quiet inside here, inside the cabin. Also, this is the navigation of the car, by the way. It's also nice. It's relatively cool uh, with great, great information. It's easy to set up. For example, here it's 100 speed and it says 80. So it's kind of wrong in this area. I don't know why. Here will come 80. If I'm not wrong, yes, right. And we have 80. But it's nice that um, the car knows where you are and what is the speed somehow, even if it's not so um, clear. But I like also this uh, navigation system that comes standard with the car. Not come standard, because if you buy the entry level version, you will don't have this navigation, guys. This is an optional one. You will have only a smartphone um, holder there, so you can put your phone. But if you want this, you have to pay extra. But this Comfort, I think it's the, the perfect version that you, you should get. Yeah. You can see it's warn you the speed limit but here it's 80 anyway it's not super precise but it's a good feature to have it on the car <clears throat> we have 7.2 liter consumption guys until now impressive huh such a big car it's not bad I like the, the suspension very much I like the way it feels easy to maneuver you don't even feel like you have such a long and big car you can see the Sandero stepway here is the same size the same height as the stepway 
where is different it's on the rear guys and i will show you in a second anyway yeah that was the test drive this is a climatic system i can also oh by the way the climatic system was also on all the time um and the consumption it's around 7.1 liter you can see right there incredible huh how many kilometers 17.8 kilometers and we was on the highway we were a little bit in the city so 7.1 is not bad it's not bad at all i like the car i like it to be honest the driving feeling it's very similar with uh sandero stepway and all other dacia's cars the the feeling inside the cabin um it's nice uh the comfort on those seats it's it's really good it's it's perfect even for long trips perfect visibility outside the pedals are good transmission very good i like also the gear shifter i like the position of the multimedia the cockpit it's simple nothing fancy nothing crazy but it's do his job perfectly it's a perfect practical car a budget perfect probably the best budget practical car on the market that you can get and yeah that was the test drive i hope you enjoy it i hope you get some useful information from here if you like it please like it share it subscribe i will mean that mean a lot for me guys also if you have question ask me down below whatever you want to ask if i forget something just ask me down below don't forget to check out the review video i will have a separate video with the same car full review interior exterior there i explain you everything about the car material quality space price technical data and all kind of stuff by the way if you want to buy the car check out gallicar garage in switzerland uh, I will leave the link in the description so if you want to buy the car, see the car, check out the car, check them out guys. And that was all. I hope it was useful and I wish you all the best. See you in the next video. Bye guys.